Hey guys, are you living in a sexless relationship? Let's get to some clarity on things you can do to start turning that ship around and build back that relation. Hi guys, I am Jeremy Rodruck. I am your strong marriage and amazing kids guy. And I am here to give you some clarity, give you some strategies in just a few minutes. We're gonna help you have a clearer plan forward. So first thing is, if you're in a sexless marriage, let's get clear on two things. We have, I need the relationship and there's, I want the relationship. And if you guys are sexless, that wanting has gone down. So we need to get back to a place where we want each other. So we have to make sure that you stay away from need. Because if you fall into a place of need, you're gonna be doing things to earn sexy fun times, earn attention, and that is massively emasculating. A woman wants to know that she is craved and desired and wanted, not, hey, I did a good job, the dishes are clean, can I have a handy, can I have a handy? She doesn't want a little boy, she wants a man. She wants somebody that is present, that is powerful, that is playful, that can hold the space, that can be a container for all of that love and that passion, that emotion, those drives, those desires inside of her. Every time you try to please, you're taking yourself down a notch and she's gonna be able to trust you less and less and less. So first step, get clear on yourself. Okay, so now, if we're gonna get into that place of desire versus need, then we gotta cut out some ways that we bleed off our energy. Number one, guys, you gotta get back away from the porn because you're literally wasting your energy and wasting your life like a little monkey over in the corner and you're getting things dressed, but you're taking down your power. So porn goes away. Alcohol is another one we gotta step back from because alcohol allows you to create that feeling of space inside and again, you're taking away your power. We need to be in a little bit of tension, a little bit of frustration, so we have the energy to break through our resistance internally and break through those barriers, get to that next level of energy. So, no porn, no alcohol. What are you gonna do? Glad you asked. You're gonna be exercising. You need to be spending 20 to 30 minutes of just moving your body, lifting big, heavy stuff, breaking things, smashing things in a healthy way, don't rage out and smash things, but like, where's a place that I can express that energy? Because as you access that force, it will start to help build that testosterone back into your body and give you the power that you need to break through that internal stuff, the internal belief systems, right? The BS that's holding you back. So as you get strong in you, now you become a force of energy that suddenly has a different frequency at home, a different frequency at work, and she's gonna start to notice. So now if you wanna to start to recover that passion and that fire, that verb for life inside, you've gotta get clear on your priorities. What are the things that you wanna do? Think about when your relationship was rocking and rolling. What were you doing? What were you reading? How are you living? Are you still at that edge? Are you still in that place? Or have you pulled back? I've got too much to lose. Well, she doesn't want me to do this or she doesn't want me to do that. When you pull yourself back from your edge, whatever your personal edge is, when you're no longer growing, right? Zig Ziglar has green and growing or ripe and rotting. When you get to that place, I have too much to lose. That fear begins to pull you back and you begin to emasculate yourself before anyone else can do it. So if you're finding yourself in a sexless place, you got to get clear. What were the things you were doing, thinking, reading, eating, exercising? the whole system, what were you doing with your life when you were rocking and rolling? How far have you fallen off of that and how can you get back to that place? Because that's more of your true essence and that's what attracted her to you in the first place. Now, of course, I am presupposing on all of this that you're healthy enough for sexy fun times. So always go get your doctor, get a blood test, make sure all your hormones are where they're supposed to be. Got to make sure the, the fundamentals are there. I made that assumption. I apologize if I skipped over that. So I want to make sure I got to you now. Hey guys, if you want to take the next step to rebuild in that sexy fun times, I will tell you, you have to get out of wanting sexy fun times and you have to create it. You have to provide the opportunities. And I have a perfect guide for you. It's a 75 minute workshop on how to create more intimacy. In fact, it's so good. My wife listened to it after I delivered it and she was like, babe, and we had a good conversation on multiple levels. You could fill in the blanks. It's only $27. The link is in the description down. The link is in the description down below. So make sure you hit the link and go check out that course. And as always, you are welcome to come join me on Facebook in the Win Win Parenting Group link 
in the description below where we have these kinds of conversations. How can you improve your life? How can you be a better husband? How can you be a better father? How can you raise amazing kids, improve your communication, the whole nine yards. So make sure you come join us. It's a free group and I'm delivering content there on a regular basis. So I look forward to seeing you there. You make it an outstanding day and I will see you next time. Guys, thanks for watching. And if this resonated with you, please be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, give us a thumbs up so that we know this rocked your socks. And there's some extra videos you can check out as well. More education, more expansion. So you make it an outstanding day. See you when I see you. Bye.